Hello all, and especially Jose. Today I would like to show you a uh, current status of my work on Honeywell Trimble HD 1000 GNSS software. So let's start it. Well, the start will take normally uh, from 5 to 15 seconds uh, because uh, the software needs to connect to IOCB server and read the variables from the Microsoft Simulator. So here we go, this is the first page, as you can see on the real uh, Honeywell Trimble GNSS after startup, the IDEN page. And you can see that uh, we have the uh, two uh, IRAC navigation databases cycles, one 1107, second 1106, uh, the one active is 1107, and this is real, so it means that uh, this software could handle two independent, uh, in, in two storages, two versions of the IRAC, and it could uh, easily switch between, so we, we can try that. We can select the uh, 1106 and put it instead of 1107. And two things change. Right now we have the active 1106 and because this IRAC is out of date, we also get the alert message uh, NEF data out of date. So let's delete the alert message. We will see it later in the messages recall page. And uh, right now continue or we will change first back just to use the current IRAC 1107. And now we, we can continue to position reference page. Position reference page, uh, you can see here our current position. It's somewhere in the apron of uh, Lima Kilo Papa Romeo Prague Airport. Uh, also, this position together with the time is uh, from a Microsoft Flight Simulator. So what you set there, you will see here. Uh, our required navigation performance and the actual navigation performance there is uh, one interesting thing about that uh, actual navigation performance it's somehow calculated from real satellite data position we can achieve that by SV data page so let's see it here is the list of the visible satellites GPS satellites um, this means that uh, if you were right now stand or in given time stand uh, where the uh, aircraft is and you will run your GPS, you should get uh, the same position, uh, same satellites on same position, on the same azimuth elevation and with same signal quality. So this is read from the or calculated from Almanach of GPS satellites. So the GPS integrity which is in the upper right corner is calculated uh, like trigonometry function like uh, uh, maximum possible precision uh, dilution of precision uh, of the trigonometry function used by GPS is to give your give you the position which mean less satellites mean worse integrity less precision and so on. So this is this is changing uh, in in the time, and you can even uh, have the worse actual uh, navigation performance than the required navigation performance. So this is simulated pretty well. Uh, we can continue to route page. So let's go there. And uh, today our flight will be from Prague to München. So we enter that and we will probably depart from runway 24 and here we go because this is the minimum requirement entries for the route page or for the route itself uh, the activate message appears and we can activate such route so let's do it and now when the route is active we can also copy this route to route 2 if we switch right now to route 2 it's empty but we can easily copy this existing route to route 2 and as you can see now the route 2 is failed and we can also activate the route 2 if we activate the route 2 it became active and route 1 is not active anymore so only one route could be active in time so we will keep our route 1 active for this exercise also we can easily fill our flight number for today is CSA 2 Lima Charlie and uh, that's enough for this page also the performance in it when we activated the route uh, appears so uh, we can go there the performance in it page and we can fill our gross weight so 
sorry uh, our gross weight and we can enter our fuel and as you can see zero fuel weight was automatically recalculated uh, the reserves it's standard 0 0.5 and uh, our cruising altitude today will be flight level 220 okay here we go what is interesting is the transition altitude we can change it uh, I think that in the United States uh, there is uh, 18,000 feet as a transition altitude so it's changed and what about if you will be flying today just in flight level 160 so we will change our cruise altitude to 160 and as you can see it's n anymore not anymore uh, flight level 160 but it's 16,000 feet because it is below the transition altitude uh, but for today we are flying over Europe and we will set transition altitude to standard 5,000 feet and in the upper right corner we are we have begged the flight level 160 but for today flight level 220 will be set okay so this is uh, for the performance in it page and now go back to the route page we already seen this page what is uh, important in the upper right corner there is uh, 1 slash 2 which means that this is the first page of uh, first page of uh, two pages in fact so we will use the next button to go to the second page and here we will fill our flight plan so for today first point is Duben oh, sorry from Duben we are flying through route 1 T136 to Colat from Colat we are route T106 to Big Cell and Big Cell is uh, final final point here so this is the route as you can see the route change uh, to be modified so you'll execute it again to be active and uh, we can also see the departure arrival index page and as you can see we filled uh, route 1 and we copied it to route 2 so these are the same entries for the route 1 and route 2 we can also check the departures and uh, arrivals for any airport so if you for example enter um, Bratislava uh, so we can check the departures for Bratislava we can here go through all the departures but this is just as a preview but we are more interested again for the departure from Prague today in route 1 so runway 24 is press selected because we selected it on the route page and uh, we can select uh, the sit the sit on the right side are just limited to sits which uh, departing from runway 24 if we de delete the active route 24 uh, active runway 24 now the sits are or all sits are listed so back only run, uh, run, uh, sits for runway 24 are listed on the left page uh, on the left side now so select one we will fly uh, to Doben so it will be the Doben to Alpha selected for runway 24 selected and um, that's it for now uh, the departure arrival index also give us possibility to uh, select the arrival and the star and uh, the transition for the star and the approach and transition for the approach but this is not uh, well programmed yet I'm waiting for some for some information how to program this so for now just to show you that it's somehow working um, yeah we can continue to data page which is programmed um, almost completely uh, on data page index you have the uh, several ways to go the nav data for example you can choose any valid entry here and as you can see this is interesting because Oscar Kilo Golf are in fact two nav aids uh, close each to other but different one is VORDME second is ADF 
and because we entered uh, such a uh, name which is not unique uh, the system gives us possibility to select which one we are interested in so let's select the first one and here we are back on the RefNav data page with ident Oscar Kilogol with its frequency, position, uh, magnetic varia uh, magnetic declination in on the place and the elevation and also the country of origin. Uh, back to the data page nearest is uh, similar to this if we select it we can select our nearest airports VORDME ADF or vein points based our location so for the airports it will be definitely Prague because we are on the apron of Prague airport and you have up to four pages of the airports you can go through uh, the VORDME pretty the same four pages of nearest VORDME with frequencies ADF again nearest ADF and waypoint nearest waypoints in our area okay so this is it back to the data page uh, last on the right side is the fix and maintenance so fix uh, you can choose some fix you will choose about to for example and you will get bearing and distance from that point to our current position and erase the fix nothing else on data page we have also entry to maintenance page so let's continue there uh, right now only the NDB cross load and message recall are ready here so for the message recall maybe you remember the message we had when we changed the IRAC here is the mess, uh, history of all alert and advisory messages so here we go with our NAV data out of date message uh, back to main, main index and uh, NDB cross load uh, this is used to load new IRAC databases from Navigraph uh, uh, this software using the VAS FMC version of this uh, of this uh, IRAC cycles so what we can do is we can check for the available and uh, navigation database on disk and as you can see still the newest one available on the disk is 1107 and we can load it into bank 1 or bank 2 or in fact these are bank 0 and ben bank 1 but anyway so and this is it. Uh, what is uh, also partially prepared is the VNAV page and second of the VNAV page, which is the decent page. Uh, this is partially working, but uh, the mechanisms for calculating the uh, VNAV is not yet finished. So just as brief, on that um, brief picture, it's uh, work in pro progress here. So uh, what is mainly missing is the Lex page, the router Lex, uh, together with the router data and wins, and also the progress page. Uh, the rest is uh, almost complete, and I will have to work, uh, as I already uh, told you, on the um, uh, VNAV navigation procedure or navigation software. So that is all for now. Right now the project is um, about um, 5000 line of codes and it took me something like 20 days. So I hope that I will be able to present you uh, something more, let's say in two weeks. Uh, so wish me good luck and have a good day. Thank you.